magic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode number 17. As the road continues to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, it's all about building momentum right here tonight on WWE Main Event. Later this evening, we're going to get a preview of the WWE Championship match at Money in the Bank as the WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Prince Finn Balor. Now, Jeff Hardy will be in the equation at the pay-per-view, but one-on-one -on -one tonight, who will get the upper hand and build momentum towards our next pay-per-view event? But a lot of opportunity is on the line here tonight as well. We're going to kick things off with an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. With the winner, challenging for the Intercontinental Championship at Money in the Bank against Sheamus. First things first, it is time to feast your eyes on your first combatant. Dominic Dijakovic, kicking us off right here tonight. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Kingsboro, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Dominic Dijakovic has been impressive since returning to the WWE at Backlash when he teamed up with Mustafa Ali to take on Murphy and Seth Rollins. On that night, he was on the winning ways. It was a couple of weeks ago on Raw when he went one-on-one -on -one with Damian Priest in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. It was a great contest, unfortunately, for Dijakovic. He came up short, but now another road paves itself on the road to Money in the Bank. And he's got a shot to challenge Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship on pay-per-view. But eight wrestlers will enter the ring. Only one man is going to be the last man standing here tonight. A huge opportunity is on the line, but no easy task to get there, absolutely. And here is your next combatant, Apollo Crews. And from Bidway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Apollo Crews, a former Intercontinental Champion in his own right, as well as a United States Champion. He's looking to get back in the winning ways after a couple of losses as of late. Most notably, to one of his opponents here tonight, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. In Pete Dunne's main roster debut at Backlash a couple of weeks ago. So Apollo being a former champion himself, coming off some recent losses, this could be just the victory that he is searching for to get back to the top of the WWE. Next up, we got a man who has been searching for opportunity for a very long time. A fan favorite here in the WWE will be Cesaro meeting his old tag team partner at Money in the Bank. And from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! In his first year in the WWE, he became the United States Champion. He's been a decorated tag team champion as well, and his most notable tag team partner over his years here in the WWE has got to be the current Intercontinental Champion, Sheamus. Cesaro and Sheamus have been on the same side and the opposite side of the ring from each other. Will they reignite an old rivalry and meet each other again inside the squared circle, this time and for the first time with the Intercontinental Championship on the line? That may happen if Cesaro can outlast seven other men here tonight. Next up, we have a man who teamed up with Sheamus a couple of weeks ago here on Main Event. And they got the W on that night. It is the modern-day Maharaja looking to stand across the ring from his current friend. And from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, Jinder Mahal! Jinder Mahal, no slacker in that ring. He's a former WWE Champion, and he impressed back in that reign, but that was several years ago here in the WWE, and we are in a business, what is a what have you done for me lately business, and Jinder Mahal has suffered a couple of injuries in the last few years, and he's just looking to get back with momentum on his side, and a win here tonight, and to stand across the ring from one of his friends, Sheamus, could be exactly what the Maharaja is looking for. But here's another man who has been impressive lately in singles action against Finn Balor, John Morrison. 
He's a former Intercontinental Champion himself. Could he be going for the championship once again? And from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison. Morrison's got a couple of recent matches against Finn Balor as well as Seth Rollins here in the WWE. And boy, was he impressive in those in those contests, but unfortunately he was on the losing side of both of them. We know Morrison can get it done inside of the ring. He's been an Intercontinental Champion in the past. He's a former Tag Team Champion as well, former ECW Champion. John Morrison's held a lot of gold in his days in the WWE. But it was the same chapter for him. What have you done for me lately? Can he get the job done tonight? But this man, Shinsuke Nakamura, is just looking to get back at the man who took the Intercontinental Championship away from him at Backlash. Nakamura wants round two, but he's gotta earn it. And he's gotta be the last man standing in this over the top rope battle royal tonight. And from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, King Nakamura! As we mentioned, it was at the Backlash pay-per-view a few weeks back, where Sheamus dethroned Shinsuke Nakamura and took away the Intercontinental Championship. The last time we saw Nakamura in this ring was last week here on Main Event, when he went one-on-one -on -one with Samoa Joe in losing fashion. Nakamura just looking to get back on the winning ways here tonight. But next up, the Bruiserweight has arrived. A former WWE United Kingdom Champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, made his main roster debut at the Backlash pay-per-view where he accepted Apollo Crews' open challenge. And in just mere minutes, the Bruiserweight was getting his hand raised on that night. Fast forward a couple of weeks later, Pete Dunne finds himself with a huge opportunity at stake. If he could be the last man standing and outlast seven other competitors here tonight, Pete Dunne early on in his run here in the WWE will have himself a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. And boy, what a contest that would be, seeing those two bruisers go at it, especially with championship gold on the line. Seven men have entered, one more still to come. And you, uh, you want to talk about a guy who is looking to get back in the winning ways of things and is looking to capitalize on opportunity. Possibly no man is looking for that more than Drew McIntyre. McIntyre lost to Edge for a spot in Money in the Bank. He lost to AJ Styles for a shot at the WWE Championship before Backlash. Opportunity has been looming around this man, but he has yet to be able to capitalize. Will tonight be the night for the Claymore King, Drew McIntyre, here on Main Event? This is a man who just over a year ago went to war on several occasions with his former friend, the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Will McIntyre be looking to reignite that rivalry with the Celtic warrior himself, this time with the Intercontinental Championship on the line? The field of eight is set. Drew McIntyre, Dominic Dijakovic, Apollo Crews, Jinder Mahal, Cesaro, John Morrison, Pete Dunne, and the former Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. Which one of these eight men is going to become your number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship at Money in the Bank? Eight men in the ring, over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor, you are eliminated. The last man standing punches their golden road to the pay-per-view. You see how everybody's just pairing off in this thing so far. Eight men in here. You gotta watch your back in a battle royal. You can be tossed over the top rope at any given moment. You got McIntyre and Mahal going at it. Nakamura and Sheamus, or excuse me, Nakamura and Cesaro, former tag team champions with each other, going at it. We got Pete Dunn and Dominic Dijakovic. That's a match we would love to see one-on-one -on -one inside the squared circle. As well as Apollo Crews and John Morrison over there. A lot of bodies inside the ring. A lot of different styles, a lot of unique talent. 
inside the squared circle right now. I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion, Champion Sheamus is looking on, looking at all his potential challengers for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Who is going to be the last man standing here tonight? I cannot wait to see who the one that outlasts the other seven are. It's Pete Dunne looking not good. Or excuse me, Pete Dunne taking over Dijakovic right there. The smaller man getting the big up against the big man. Everyone's still kind of paired off since the get-go. We got Jinder Mahal trying to work on the big man, Drew McIntyre. Apollo. We're going to send John Morrison over the top rope. Is Morrison going to be the first to go? Morrison hanging on, though. Very impressive save from John Morrison. We know how impressive he can be in these kind of matches. We've seen John Morrison's highlight reel in former Royal Rumble matches that he has been in. Morrison knows how to save himself from elimination. It's big time maneuver there from Mahal. And look at that! Your first casualty of the contest, Dominic Dijakovic. Big boot to the bruiser weight. Pete Dunne, as impressive as he's been since showing up in the main roster, is your first man to go out of the eight in this matchup. And there goes Jinder Mahal, gone as well, I believe, by the hands of Shinsuke Nakamura, just getting sent right over the top rope. And just like that, the eight becomes six. That's how dangerous the battle royals are. He can be thrown over the top rope at any given moment. It's Apollo Crews, he could be going. Just like that, Pete Dunne is gone out of the hands of Dijakovic. Jim Mahal gone by the hands of the former Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. Look at this, we got Cesaro and Drew McIntyre going at it. Those two men had a meeting recently inside the ring. Back on roll almost a month ago. What a great match that was. Got Apollo Crews and Nakamura. There's another two that had a meeting on roll in recent time. And Dijakovic and John Morrison, what a great one-on-one -on -one match that would be in the future. Meanwhile, Drew McIntyre powerbombing Cesaro up and over the top rope. And Cesaro eliminated from the Battle Royal. And meanwhile, inside of the middle of the ring, McIntyre delivers the future shock DDT to Dominic Dijakovic, who I believe has been busted open in this matchup. Bodies are falling as we get... Into the later water of this contest, John Morrison is holding on. Drew McIntyre could be close to eliminating him there. Morrison hold it on, but Morrison goes. John Morrison has been eliminated. Drew McIntyre with his second elimination of the contest, sending John Morrison over. We are down to four men. Dominic Dijakovic, Drew McIntyre, Apollo Crews, and the former champion Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura over. McIntyre eliminates Nakamura just like that. And McIntyre clotheslines Apollo Crews just like that. Another elimination. Drew McIntyre is on a roll. And in a matter of minutes, we are down to two men. Dominic Dijakovic and Drew McIntyre. Which one of these two is going to meet Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship on pay-per-view? McIntyre just rolling the ring. Getting four of the last... Six eliminations. Very impressive by the big man as Dijakovic is in there with him now. He's trying to stay weary. See how dangerous these battle royals can be. At any given moment, somebody can be dumped over. And it looks like McIntyre might be next, but he gets out of it. Chop blocks the knee of Dijakovic. Two of our big men in this matchup going at it in the final two. Dijakovic. Dijakovic holds on to the top. McIntyre with a Claymore. And Drew McIntyre has eliminated Dominic Dijakovic. What a performance by McIntyre in this battle royal tonight. Getting five of the seven eliminations back to back to back to back to back. Here is your winner, Drew and with that victory, Drew McIntyre seizes the opportunity that he has been searching for. And McIntyre will reignite his flame with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship at Money in the Bank. What a contest that is going to be. McIntyre wins the Battle Royal here tonight. We're going to continue on here on WWE Main Event. We have your final 
Women's Money in the Bank ladder match qualifier set for you right here, right now, here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bayley. So far qualified for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Candice LeRae, Shotzi, and Io Shirai. Five spots of the six have been filled, and we are going to determine the sixth and final spot right here tonight on Main Event. And it could be a former winner of the women's ladder matchup, a former SmackDown and Raw women's champion, a former women's tag team champion, a former NXT women's champion. She has had a decorated career thus far, but she could be looking for Money in the Bank number two. Will Bailey qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match here tonight on WWE Main Event? Or will it be her opponent, the tag team partner of the already qualified Shotzi, Ember Moon, looking to punch her ticket to the money in the bank ladder match. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. A former NXT women's champion herself, as well as a former NXT women's tag team champion, Ember Moon looking to tag, or excuse me, looking to meet her tag team partner Shotzi as one of the members of the Money in the Bank ladder match in a couple of weeks' time. One of the most impressive athletes in the women's division is Ember Moon. What an opportunity it could be for her to punch her ticket and join those five other women with the contract hanging above the ring when Money in the Bank comes to Philadelphia. This is going to be a great contest still to come tonight. We got AJ Styles meeting Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one in the main event. A little prelude of the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. But right here, right now, it's your final women's Money in the Bank qualifying match. Will it be Bailey or will it be Ember Moon? Which one of these? We'll get spot number six and here we go. Ember Moon coming out swinging immediately from the get-go. Drop kick sends her into the corner and now double knees. These two women have met inside the ring before. Actually went one on one at SummerSlam a couple of years ago, if you guys remember that. And that night it was Bailey getting the victory. So we know Bailey can get the job done over Ember Moon, but that was then, this is now. These two women, after several years, are completely different stages of their careers. Let's see who can get the job done here tonight. Bailey's coming off a couple of losses the last few times we've seen her inside of the ring. Most recently, one-on-one -on -one with the women's champion, Bianca Blair, on Monday Night Raw. As she heads to the top rope here, Bailey going a little uncharacteristic. We don't usually see her fly. She comes with the crossbody. Bailey, if she enters the ladder match, will certainly be the most decorated woman in that matchup. We named all her accolades earlier. Several championships later, all these years in her career. Could be looking to add another one to the list. But Ember Moon, looking to make sure it is not Bailey going on to Money in the Bank. Submission hold is locked in. Which may be a little early there as Bailey able to stretch out of it. And breaks the hold. Nice maneuver by Bailey. Money in the Bank coming up. On Sunday night, May the 1st. It is going to be an incredible evening. Matches like the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match, the WWE Championship will be on the line between AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and Jeff Hardy in a triple threat. We just found out Drew McIntyre, Sheamus for the Intercontinental Championship. What a match that is going to be. World Tag Team Championships will be on the line as well as Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan get a huge opportunity against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Cruiserweight Championship. Is going to be up for grabs. Santos Escobar defends against Isaiah Swerve Scott. And of course, the Women's Championship of the WWE will be on the line. And Bianca Belair defends against Rhea Ripley. It's going to be an awesome night of action. I cannot wait to get to Philadelphia 
for the money in the bank. As Bailey goes for the German suplex, Ember Moon landed on her feet. And now look at this, tilt to whirl, tornado DDT, very impressive. She's looking to put Bailey away and qualify for the women's money in the bank ladder match. Bailey gets the shoulder up just in time. Ember's got to keep the fast-paced offense coming over Bailey here. It is what has aided her so far in this matchup. She's hitting the corner. She went for this a moment ago, but she did not hit. This time she hits it. Full head of steam, running big boot. That time Bailey cuts her off with a kick of her own. Nice counter there. Takes over Ember Moon. Bailey looking to slow down Ember. As Bailey's going to the top, but she can't watch Ember Moon at the same time. There's Moon knocking her off the top rope. And now Ember's going up. There's someone who we're used to seeing flying from the top missile drop kick. Ember Moon is definitely bringing the fight to the former champion in this contest. She's heading back up to the top. Bailey's down momentarily. Ember Moon went for the moon salt. She does not connect. Absolutely miscalculating it. She may have hit her with the feet a little bit, but Ember Moon was way too far. Bailey was more the center of the ring. And that miscalculation now gives the momentum to Bailey in this contest. It's now she's headed to the top rope with Ember Moon. Facing down on the canvas, and an elbow drop from the top rope from Bailey. Uncharacteristic maneuver, but definitely effective here. And Bailey was going for else for something. Ember got out of the way, but Bailey with the Luthes press. You see the sense of urgency out of these two women here as we get into the deeper waters of this contest. Neither woman wanting to give an inch. It's such an opportunity on the line. Ember knocks Bailey off the top rope there, try capitalizing, but again, a little bit of a miscalculation on that high risk maneuver. She's trying to unload on Bailey, keep the offense in, but Bailey, nice counter there. Just sends her over. And a nice forearm by Ember Moon. Bailey getting knocked off her feet there. And a kick. Make it two, make it three. That is something that Ember Moon knows how to do greatly. As she heads to the top rope here after knocking Bailey down. With that series of strikes from the top, Ember Moon with the Eclipse signature maneuver, and Bailey could be in trouble here. Ember almost had her, but Bailey gets the shoulder up. At 2.9, Bailey saves her chances at qualifying for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. As we mentioned, so far qualified for that contest: Candice LeRae, Shotzi, Io Shirai, Asuka. And Shayna Baszler. So will it be Ember Moon or will it be Bailey joining those five women? Is Bailey with a suplex to Ember Moon right into the corner? Almost hitting the turnbuckles here. That would have been even worse for Ember Moon. Which one of these women is going to fail to give an inch over the other? As Bailey looking to tap out Ember Moon here. A little bit of STF style maneuver here. Ember had the submission on Bailey earlier. Bailey was able to escape. Will we see the same here, or will Ember tap out due to the pressure? And nice counter by Ember Moon as she breaks the strength of Bailey. Just in time, able to break the grip. Nice kick. Tries going for a, like a toe hold drop to take Bailey off her feet, but Bailey's right there with a German suplex. And just drops the elbow on her. Ember Moon's dazed and confused. She's on spaghetti legs. Bailey went for the kick, but Ember able to counter. Oh, look at this. Brings her in. Beautiful maneuver there. Nice counter by Ember Moon. And Bailey could be in trouble as Ember's starting to battle back. Certainly building the momentum. Moon's going back up to the top. As Bailey's dazed and confused, Ember Moon eclipse number two on Bailey. And will she kick out for the second time in this contest? She does! Ember Moon to Eclipse. The best maneuver in her handbook does not put Bailey away in this contest. What an effort we are seeing out of these two women here tonight. Especially Bailey, who is able to survive so much offense from Ember Moon. We've talked about how Bailey has really not been in the winning columns as of late. The last is it two, three, four times we've seen her inside of the ring. But Ember Moon now bringing her to the top rope. With a superplex from the sky. Bailey's surviving, but Ember Moon is coming out swinging. And there she is with a nice counter. Bailey knows it's now or never. 
for her chances at Money in the Bank. And nice cutoff there of the rolling forearm. She sends Ember Moon into the corner, but Moon is just right there, battling, barely back out of everything. She finally gets that rolling kick she was looking for earlier. And now Ember Moon, submission hold on Bailey here. The same submission that Bailey put in earlier, and Bailey taps. The Eclipse did not do the trick. But for Ember Moon, she taps out Bailey here tonight. And there you have it. The six women that will compete for the ladder matchup in a couple of weeks' time at Money in the Bank. Ember Moon punches her ticket for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. A great contest and a great effort. By Bailey here tonight, but Ember Moon is on her way to Money in the Bank. Well, coming up on Sunday night, May the 1st, the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, where you will see the WWE Championship on the line as the phenomenal AJ Styles defends in a triple threat match against his opponent in moments, the Prince Finn Balor, as well as the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. With Balor and Hardy's recent issues, how that fair against the phenomenal WWE Champion. The WWE World Tag Team Championships will be on the line as the current champions Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, defend against number one contenders Oni, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Burch and Lorcan with a victory over the Viking Raiders a couple of weeks ago. Can they do it again on pay-per-view? Santos Escobar will defend the Cruiserweight Championship against the brand new number one contender Isaiah Swerve Scott. He defeated Ricochet on Raw and now the man who brought Santos Escobar to the limited backlash will meet Santos once again for the gold. We found that earlier this evening, after Drew McIntyre outlasted seven other men in the over-the-top rope battle royal, that he will reignite his rivalry with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, this time with the prestigious Intercontinental Championship on the line. After an attack a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Rhea Ripley jumps the line and she will meet Bianca Blair for the WWE Women's Championship at Money in the Bank. Will Bianca continue her reign atop the women's division or will brutality rise and Rhea Ripley become the new women's champion? The field is officially set for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup as Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Ember Moon, and Shotzi do battle over the contract hanging above the ring who will take down the briefcase and earn themselves a future championship opportunity. And on the flip side, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match is set Samoa Joe, Damian Priest, Matt Riddle, Edge, Mustafa Ali, and Austin Theory. Which one of these men will climb the ladder, retrieve the contest, and earn a future shot at the WWE title? But speaking of these six men coming up on Raw, we are going to get a preview of the Money in the Bank ladder match in a big six-man tag team affair. When the last three men to qualify, Austin Theory, Samoa Joe, and Matt Riddle, meet the first three men to qualify, Edge, Damian Priest, and Mustafa Ali, and a big time six man tag team matchup coming your way on Monday Night Raw. But it is time for your main event here tonight the Prince Finn Balor, looking to build early momentum on the road to Money in the Bank against the phenomenal WWE Champion, AJ. Styles. Balor has been winning a lot lately. Can he continue his momentum in tonight's main event contest? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Finn Balor. Finn Balor giving himself a fresh coat of paint. A new attitude over the recent history after a loss to Jeff Hardy sent him over the edge. He fought back against the charismatic enigma and defeated Jeff Hardy at Backlash a couple of weeks ago. We know that the issues between those two men are far from over as after Finn Balor's matchup with John Morrison recently, Jeff Hardy was there to meet Finn Balor inside of the ring to send him a message. Now the history between those two men, the issues between those two men, will spill over to Money in the Bank. We will, we will add an X Factor. The WWE Champion, AJ Styles. Balor and Hardy getting an opportunity. AJ getting a huge task with his first defense since winning the title at the Backlash pay-per-view. But as for tonight... It's a chance for the Prince to continue his winning ways. 
and show the world that he has truly earned his spot to challenge for the WWE Championship if he can defeat the man himself, an old friend, an old foe, AJ Styles inside of the ring. We've seen these men do battle just a few times before inside the WWE Squared Circle. They add another chapter to the history books here this evening. And here comes the man who knocked off the almighty Bobby Lashley at Backlash. He's been riding a high as of late. He is the WWE Champion. The phenomenal AJ Styles is back here on Main Event. And he's set for Main Event action. The recent resume of AJ Styles reads nothing but victory. Ricochet, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, and most recently Cedric Alexander here on main event. AJ Styles has been nothing short of impressive. And on top of all that, a victory in our canon universe over Edge out of WrestleMania. AJ has been on top of the world as of late. Nothing but victories for the Phenomenal One. But will that continue here tonight when it's all about building momentum to the upcoming pay-per-view on May the 1st? But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Your main event, WWE Champion AJ Styles and the Prince Finn Balor. Set for action right here, right now. As we mentioned, these two have only taken on each other inside of a WWE squared circle a few times before. AJ has seen victory. Will Finn Balor get a victory he is looking for here this evening? Is AJ bringing the fight to the Prince in the early going? AJ looking to continue his winning ways. Finn Balor on the same page as well. Recent victories over Jeff Hardy as well as John Morrison inside the squared circle with the WWE Championship matchup coming up at Money in the Bank. Neither one of these men going to want to give an inch. And remember, we will be adding the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy to the mix for a triple threat contest. When we get to the pay-per-view as AJ Styles from the top row, beautiful frog splash over the Prince Finn Balor. WWE Champion is looking impressive since the get-go here. Already on the outside, I thought he might have been looking for the phenomenal forearm, but I think he knows better to try to hit that early on against somebody of the caliber of the Prince, but AJ Styles instead elects for a springboard moonsault. Very impressive by the WWE Champion. AJ controlling this contest thus far. That is why he is the WWE Champion. We read off his recent victories here in his resume. When you're in against someone like the Prince Finn Balor there, you gotta take into account moves like that to swing blade, follow it up with that snap suplex. Finn Balor, so impressive inside the square circle. There's AJ Styles. Back and forth we're going here since the get-go. Finn Balor down, AJ Styles heading out, heading up top, excuse me. Thought he might have been looking for that frog splash again, but AJ's got something else in mind. Instead, he elects, was going for, I believe, an axe hammer there, but Finn Balor able to step over. Now Balor from behind. Sending AJ on the out, onto the apron. Snaps on the top rope and AJ takes a fall. Crash and burn landing down on the map below. You gotta be careful on the outside. Moves are just gonna hurt a little bit more when you're eating them on the cold hard floor of the arena. As AJ is in predicament, Finn Balor's got him up. He'll be looking for yet another suplex in this contest. Just dropping the WWE Champion right on his spine. Finn Balor in control over the current WWE Champion in this contest. AJ trying to battle back there. He can never count out the phenomenal AJ Styles. As Finn Balor hits yet another swing blade. Very impressive. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute here. The charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy 
is here inside the arena at ringside. He's distracting the Prince Finn Balor. We talked about the history between those two. AJ's going to score a victory. But Finn Balor, he's going to get the shoulder up. But Jeff Hardy keeping his eyes on the Prince Finn Balor here tonight. AJ trying to go to the top, but the Prince is right there. Jeff Hardy, the man who will join these two for the WWE Championship of Money in the Bank. Making his presence felt this evening. Not enough to take the Prince's eye off the ball as of yet. As AJ Styles may be in trouble here as it seems that the appearance from Jeff has done, done nothing more but enraged the Prince. And I cannot wait to see what these three men are going to do when the WWE Championship is on the line. Live on pay-per-view. And Finn Balor taking out AJ Styles once again. And AJ really went for the cover there, but AJ's foot was under the bottom rope. Finn Balor not watching his ring awareness there. As Finn Balor is headed to the top rope. AJ's down and out. Finn with the coup de grace on the phenomenal WWE Champion. Finn Balor gets the victory over AJ Styles here tonight. AJ's momentum coming to a screeching halt. Even through the appearance from Jeff Hardy, not enough to take Finn Balor's eye off the ball. If anything, just lit a fire under his ass. And it was able to string together a couple of big time maneuvers. One of them being the coup de grace for the victory over the WWE Champion here this evening. What a win for Finn. As we inch closer and closer to May the 1st and Money in the Bank, live from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, will that man right there, the Prince Finn Balor, be cutting AJ Styles' new reign with the WWE Championship short? Are we looking at the next WWE Champion? Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we'll see you on Universe Mode Episode 18 for the Go Home Raw to Money in the Bank. Wanna be great, yeah, yeah, yeah.